Hey guys, y'all are watching Fire on the Hill. My name is Matt. Today, guys, we got some stacking to do. I don't know if y'all watched my last video, but if you did, great. If you didn't, you need to go check it out. I was attempting to, well, I did split the hickory with my cutting line four-way. Man, it was a struggle. Um, but later that week, I was able to bring the wolf ridge over and split the rest of it. Um, and that wolf ridge definitely did way better to the cutting line. Although, man, that hickory was still tough for that wolf ridge. I mean, it was it was like slowing down a lot, but it split it. It did great. And, of course, the, stringy, the stringiness, you can't really do anything about it, guys. I mean, you split it until you could tear it apart, right? And that's about it. But um, I got some great news, guys. So, usually I do not make a video about stacking or what I do day to day um, after work or whatever. Because I just like, I like to make my videos action-packed. Uh, but a lot of y'all seem to like these little in-between videos um, And also it helps like bring everything together. So what I decided to do guys is uh, Do a Wednesday video and a Sunday video um, I chose those two days because that's what works best around my schedule That way if there was a rainy day or rainy days like there has been I'll still be able to get the videos that I need to get done to make those deadlines um also i enjoy uh some of these other channels that i watch that have videos on the days that they say they're going to be there that way i can look forward to it i know that it's going to be there and i can go watch it um i think that's very helpful and also it keeps everybody engaged right so i like that idea so i'll start uh, uploading a video on wednesday and then on sundays i don't really have a set time um probably in the mornings but yeah so anyways guys enough of that what we got going on is i have the dump tiller backed up here uh this is that load of hickory that was split on the cutting line and the wolf ridge we're gonna stack it right over here um as you can see as i dumped it it came out it was stacked pretty high up there but i say we got a two full face cords there maybe a little bit more um but we'll see what we got this is not the idea when i want to stack out of the trailer but oh well <laughs> Y'all, this uh, hickory man, that's crazy strange, dude. All right, guys, let's speed it up.
I got the first face core done, guys. I stack these just a little high, just because they shrink a little bit. Um, I mean, worst case scenario, if I start loading it up and it's too full, I just won't stick that extra little bit in there, right? It's better to be safe than sorry. So I'm gonna take a little break here, guys, and walk y'all around the uh, stacking wood yard over here. Uh, this is as clean as has been since I had it completely full last year. Um, so right here, we have two rows, but I'm gonna put a third row. This is the start of the third row right here. Um, but I got three rows here. I could possibly put like a half or fourth row closest to the driveway. But guys, one thing that uh, I've been struggling with this year is a lot, of, a lot of my pallets from last year when I put wood back on them, they're breaking. I mean, you can see the braces broke. I literally just use whatever scrap pieces I could find around the house to make these. I don't spend any money on this stuff. Um, but y'all can see this, this is a bunch of the stuff uh, that I've been selling at the roast house stand. Like all this stuff was full a couple months ago, guys. I'm serious. Most, most of this is just poplar and stuff that I just pulled for the roast house stand. I have, I don't know how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve totes over here. And again, I've been pulling the poplar out of these and putting them at the roadside stand. So that's that side. And then I've showed y'all this side, guys. This section right here is four rows deep. So four face cords a row until it gets down to this uh spot right here where the poles are then it goes to three I haven't counted this guys but I think this row right here I probably have like 40 some face cords possibly 50 another thing I'm doing y'all is I'm putting all my poplar and IBC totes because I just let these sit literally for I don't know I split this last weekend and it's already dry it's crazy um so definitely splitting the popper and i'm putting them in the totes that way i can move them and do bundles but yes guys i'm telling you this wood yard is way cleaner than it was last year at this point in time and way emptier so we definitely have a great start with this year time to knock out this last face court guys let's get it Here we are, y'all. Two face cords done. If y'all didn't notice, I do leave the space in between my rows because it dries much, much quicker if I do that. Also, since I'm not stacking three in there, I do not have to make my pieces a perfect 16 inches. We got the dump tote empty. This is how we're catching the scraps now, guys. All I'll do is uh get all that up and throw it in a uh, burn barrel and we'll be done there there we go y'all two more face cords stacked and ready to sell for next season y'all that hickory is 
nasty nasty stuff i mean it was all just stringy 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 hopefully when it all dries out i can pull off the, the stringy stuff and make it more presentable but yeah guys if you like videos like this please like subscribe share it to a friend thanks for watching we'll catch you next time